guess what, the friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two air fryer Super Bowl appetizers that are so tasty, your guests will never know they're low calorie. So I'm gonna be making pizza crescent rolls and supreme beef nachos. I'm gonna start with the pizza crescent rolls and this is what you're gonna need, cutie. Do you watch uh, a lot of football? Oh, you got the old ball flip. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> but I like the food that goes with the party. <laughs> ball flip. Okay, this is what you need. 24 slices of turkey pepperoni. I'm using this Ziggy's sliced turkey pepperoni from Zares in Canada. Four cheese strings. I wanted mozzarella, but they didn't have any, so I'm using marble. As long as there's 60 calories per cheese string, that's all we're looking for. I'm using just the no-name brand, and they're sliced in half. We need one and a half tablespoons of light margarine melted. I'm using the Basel Light, it's my favorite. A package of reduced fat crescent rolls, a package of eight. This is the one that I'm using, the Pillsbury. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I have them in the same container. Three quarters of a cup of pizza sauce for dipping these in after, and I'm just using a regular pizza sauce. Some oil spray for the fryer basket so these don't stick. I'm using just like a grapeseed oil sprayer. And you need one of these um, silicone bahinga thingies for spread and margarine. And then the air fryer I'm using, it's a Ninja Foodie 6-in-1 thingy that we got from Costco. Not sponsored, just was um, a really good price. I'm making this video because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years. And at the beginning of my journey, I thought that in order to lose weight, I had to give up going to things like Super Bowl parties, or at least that I could go but not eat the food because I thought it would stop me getting results. What it did was cause me to just overeat more. So I learned that what I would do is I'd make a super tasty, low calorie version of everyone's favorite foods or appetizers, and I would bring it with me to parties, Super Bowl parties, holidays, whatever, and that way I could participate, enjoy the food, have fun, and still stay in a calorie deficit so I could lose the weight. What I brought was so tasty that when I would tell people, they would be shocked. They wouldn't even know the difference and they would be shocked that it was low calorie. Unless they watch this video then. Oh yeah, well, the secret's out of the bag now. But anyway, the point is you guys often ask, what did I do on my journey when it came to going to holidays or parties and things like that? And this is what I do. So I thought it would be a really cool video to make and share with you guys in case it inspires you to make, you know, super cool low calorie food for the Super Bowl that nobody will know is low cap. For the ball foot party. For the ball foot party. So what we're gonna do is, I've got the, these out on a parchment paper. You don't have to, it's just, um, I didn't want them to stick to the counter. So what we're gonna do is put three slices of pepperoni in the middle of all the triangles. If you wanna know, exactly what I ate to lose the weight, I do have weight loss eBooks. The links are down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. I also have a guilt-free cookbook. More of cool stuff like this is in it. Or I got the Huddled or HTLT stuff. I'm sponsored by this company and um, use code Nicole. The link is down below. You'll save yourself 10% off. If you want their winter flavors, they are seasonal. They're both amazing. Get them now because once they're gone, they're gone. We got white chocolate, peppermint, and hot chocolate. And they just got, these are two new Seco Bar Plus flavors. They made them tastier and softer. We just ate these for lunch today and they are both amazing and they really are softer and tastier. So go get yourself some if you want and use the code cutie. And let's keep pepperoni and everything up here. And then what's cool about this recipe is depending on how many guests you have, you can triple, double the batch, whatever, and um, for as many guests as you're having, you know? So that's pretty cool. Then what we're gonna do is place a piece of cheese string in the middle of the pepperonis, just like that. And then we're gonna wrap it 
or roll it, whatever you wanna say. Let's make that a little cuter, there we are. And then just wanna secure in the uh, cheese and things like that. And then we'll roll them all up. They fold it up. Just like so, just like so. So what I wanna do here is um, just roll it and then kind of pinch the ends or wrap it up just because I don't want the cheese to fully leak out. I really wanna be a cute cheese surprise inside. So I'm just trying to wrap it so that the ends are secure. Um, and you know, don't worry about it too much, just enough so that you keep most of the cuteness inside. Now I'm gonna put the seasonings in the margarine and I'm gonna use this to stir it around. And now I'm going to brush them down with the melted margarine. I am, I do have some leftovers, so I am gonna give the bottoms a little bit of a Love. rubberoo. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of rubberoo. Okay, the friends, I'm gonna preheat the air fryer, turn it on, for ours, it's air crisp. And I'm gonna do 360 for eight minutes and see how they do. And I'll tell you the final time once it's done. All right, the friends, it is preheated. I have sprayed the basket with oil. Now I'm gonna lay these in a single layer in the basket. Okay, we're gonna go for eight minutes and see how they do. And bahinga. All right, the friends, I stopped them at six minutes because they're looking cute. They look beautiful. Wow, they look done to me. So yeah, six minutes at 360. And now we're just gonna put them on a cute tray. And I, oh yeah, this is not a tray. <laughs> it's a plate, it's fine. Look at that. All right, we gotta pause for thumbnail action. It makes eight rolls. I accounted for a heaper tablespoon of pizza sauce for dipping for each of them, and it's in this cute bowl here. So per roll with, you know, a heaper tablespoon of pizza sauce, it's 160 calories, seven grams of fat, 16.7 grams of carbs, and 6.8 grams of protein. So a beautiful appetizer with lots of protein that's gonna be really tasty. Hmm, I think I'll choose this one and I'm gonna slice it in half. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at, it's juicy and cute. Okay, we're gonna dip it. <laughs> it's just sassy and I eaten, so I'm gonna dip. That's my Super Bowl party today. Mmm, <laughs> oh. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> No joke, like if you don't wanna tell people that they're low calorie, like they will literally never know. These are so good. I'm double dipping, Sassy. <laughs> That's fine. We love each other. Mm. More than the world itself. All right, it's Supreme Beef Nacho time, cutie. And this is what you're gonna need. So for the nacho chips, we're going to need four corn tortillas and these are the ones that I'm using. I couldn't find whole corn ones, so these are the 50-50 corn wheat blend. We need a piece of parchment paper, some salt, and some oil spray, and you can use a knife. I like a pizza cutter for doo doo doot. And then for the supreme part, we need four ounces of lean ground beef that has been cooked with a teaspoon of reduced sodium taco seasoning. And this is the one I'm using, it's the old El Paso. We need 60 grams of shredded cheese. This is the marble kind from Costco, it's the Kirkland brand. Then we need two tablespoons of sliced black olives, about two tablespoons of diced or chopped green onion, and two tablespoons of diced tomato. For serving, we're gonna need some salsa. This is just like a president's choice, no name brand. And then some 1% or fat-free sour cream, whatever you have available. So let's make the nachos. What I'm gonna do is take 
two at a time and I'm going to slice them into triangles with my pizza cutter. So I'm just gonna hold on to the corn tortilla and I'm going to cut them into, you know, about eight triangles. So we'll just make that a little bit even there. Like so. There we go. So that they look like cute nacho chips. Isn't this gonna be sweet? <laughs> okay, so that's what they look like. Then what I'm gonna do, oh, I'm so excited for this. We're gonna just lay them flat because after I'm gonna spray them with a bit of the oil spray and salt them before I air fry them. Okay, I have sprayed both sides of the chips lightly with this oil spray, and this is the same one that I was using for the other recipe, the pizza rolls. This is the grapeseed oil spray that I just got at the grocery store. I'm gonna salt them to taste now with my salt shaker, and then I'm gonna flip them and do the other side as well, but I'll do that while I'm preheating the air fryer. I'm gonna start with 350 and put eight minutes up, but I'm gonna check them after four and give them a little shake and see how they're doing. So let's start 350 for eight minutes and I'm gonna flip those and salt them while this is preheating. All right, it is preheated. So what I'm gonna do now is lay these chips in a single layer. I'm gonna see what it looks like. If I have to cook them in batches, I will, but I'll fill up to the best of my ability here. I wanna go single layer so they get crispy. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this many and I'm gonna check them after four minutes and see how they're doing. All right, the friends, they were good after three minutes. Our air fryer cooks so amazing. So I'm gonna put these on a plate um, to cook the rest up and I'll just keep cooking in batches for three minutes until they're done and then I'll show you how we load them for supreme action. Okay, so the nachos cooked in three batches. They're ready and I have preheated the air fryer to 350 degrees and set it for five minutes. I have a piece of parchment paper that I'm going to line the basket with. And I'm just gonna push it down in here and use this to kind of get the corners all cute. And now I'm gonna line my nachos in the bottom, make it all cute. I can't believe how beautiful they turned out in the air fryer, Sasaruni. Yeah, nice and crispy. Yeah, this is gonna be beautiful. So put it like that, spread it out nice because we are making a beautiful serving here. Okay, and then I'm gonna top them with the cheese and then I'm gonna do the ground beef on top and then I'm gonna cook them for three to five minutes or until the cheese is melty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they've been cooking for two minutes. Oh yes, perfect. Two minutes at 350, here they are. All right, that is awesome. So two minutes, and what I'm gonna do now is just pull this out carefully and slide it onto this cute plate and see if I can, oh yeah. Oh, nice job. Thanks. Black olives, some green onion. Be so cute, la 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 la. Cute if up, la 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 la. And okay. So it looks super beautiful. Um, for thumbnail action, I'm gonna put a little sprink of sour cream here, but we're in reality, we're not doing the sour cream yet, okay? Okay, so I put a sprink of sour cream for the picture, um, for the picture, but for this, we're gonna make two big servings, and per serving, we're gonna serve it with two tablespoons of salsa and two tablespoons of the sour cream. All right, the friends, so, it makes, like I said, two big servings, or you can split it into four smaller servings. And um, for the two big servings, per serving with the two tablespoons of sour cream and two tablespoons of salsa, it's 515 calories, 26 grams of fat, 42 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. If you split it into four smaller servings, you it will be 
with one tablespoon of sour cream and one tablespoon of salsa for 257 calories, 13 grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein. So it's like a really cool recipe and lots of protein and you can double or triple the batch depending on how many guests you have. So let's do a taste test. Um, Sassy and I are splitting this beautiful appetizer, but I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa on here, a little bit of sour cream, and let's get one of everything. <laughs> <laughs> here it goes. <gasps> it made real trip. Mm. Oh yeah, get the old ball foot. <laughs> Have some nachies. It's a party. <laughs> You're ready. I'm ready. All right, the friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is what it's all about. I do give myself the real version sometimes of my favorite foods, but most of the time I choose the low calorie version because it allows me to create this beautiful balance between loving events and parties, enjoying myself, enjoying food, but also keeping the weight off. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe because you can see all this cuteness. And don't forget to check out this vid and this vid so that you can see more how Sass and I love our food and just love life and just do this all day. And then check out all the links down below for all the soft cuties. So I'll catch you in the next vid. Thanks for watching. Pete, see ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.